Jesse Thornburg is our third presenter. His title, Power to the People, Smart Grids for Rural African Villages. Renewable energy is limitless and will last forever. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon used these words last year as he presented the UN Sustainable Development Goals in Dubai. They put renewable electricity for all as the top priority for both global health and food security. Before I started graduate school, I worked for two years in Rwanda and Congo on renewable energy projects. Most of these projects were in rural jungle villages that have decades before they get connected to any kind of national grid. And in the meantime, they have to produce power themselves. These customers, like customers here, are diverse in their power needs. As shown in this map of a village where CMU is working, the customers fall into uh, different levels, both the needs, the amount of power, and the time of day they need it. Low-income households, like those shown in green, need small amounts of power, usually at night. Middle income, orange, and blue in the map, they need slightly larger levels of power, and it's more spread out through the day. And then the high priority loads, shown in red, need high levels of power during the day. These are hospitals and factories. This uh, variability provides a problem, especially given the supply situation. Many of these villages have limited supplies that rely on sporadic natural resources like wind and solar. And for several hours every day, there's a mismatch in most of these villages. There's not enough supply, and therefore, power outages for several hours a day. Two new tools allow us to prevent power outages and eliminate this problem. These are smart meters and energy management strategies, which I'm working on in my research. Smart meters are devices that allow us to monitor the demand, and with new smart meters developed at CMU and installed in this village, we can actually limit demands of individual customers. In my research, I've developed a simulator that uses this new smart meter technology and the cap capability to clip power and applies that in the rural villages of sub-Saharan Africa. We give customers the choice of whether they want to be clipped. If they do, they get cheaper power, while we assure that the hospitals and other high-priority loads always get power. We also command batteries when to charge and discharge, eliminating the need to burn diesel. Finally, we store these data in the cloud and build probabilistic models so we can use uh, variable models in the future to account for emergency situations when there's low resources or high demand. In this way, we've found that we can reduce the chance of power cuts from 30% to zero without building any new supplies. We've also found in villages that rely on diesel generators to make up the difference between supply and demand, we can reduce the need to burn diesel by 98%. This way, we enable economic development by getting power to the lowest earners, and we also give power to the hospitals. Thank you.